What's up, y'all? It's your girl, S. Food. It's your girl, Latia. This is DJ Nugget. Hotline. This is Jasmine Ford. Okay, King Nesbitt. Trap with Kessler. Slam Cito. Girl Tosh. Rough Bone. The Jewelry. Looty Boy. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Wiz Khalifa, man. And I just kicked it right here. Smoked real, real big with the Bird Boys. I'm in my little hot box. I know. I see that. Well, Mexico, bro, you busy man, G. Yeah, man, it's just a lot of shit going on, man. That's good, man. That's fucking awesome. At least you're busy in a time when, you know, shit is slow for a lot of other people. Right. It, exactly. That's why I'm thankful, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because all this shit going on, but, yeah, it's lit. All right, so we can, um, we can get started. I'm going uh, to intro. Let me just hit this, hit this joint one time. <laughs> Get it. Get it. All right, all right. So we usually live, but um we had some te technical difficulties today. What up, Tom? Cause um our Yeah, it's Snutter. Our producer, um, his um power went out in his neighborhood and shit. Somebody oh, hit, shit. hit a driver or some shit. <laughs> hit a pole. <coughs> All right, so shout out to everybody that's tuned in. It's your man, DJ Motor, man. It's the Berg Boys with my guest host. Um, well, he's not a guest host. He's a host as well. Uh, DJ Spills on the What's way. What's up, guys? Hey, yo. It's Tuesday. Feeling good, feeling great. We got the, the homie Little Mexico Beats in the building. Little that's Mexico what's up. Little Mexico Beats. Let's straight, go. Straight from <laughs> Shot town Now, you from, you from Chicago. But you out in LA, yes, sir. Uh, now, can you can you tell us a, a little bit about uh, your journey making it out of Chicago, and then you know finally being in LA where you're at now? Yeah, man. Really, um, shit. I started off. Uh, well, really, I'm. A, I'll just bring it back to like when I started making beats. So really, like, how I started making beats is I, I just seen um really like Chief Keef and all them when they first was like coming out, like that was like a big influence. So I was like, man, like I got to like them, like they lit, I got to do something. So I found out, I was like, man, let me just start trying making beats. So then I, you know, I always had an ear for music. So I started making beats. I use, um, I think I used like my mom's laptop and downloaded FL, like the demo version. And I was just cooking off that, just like, just cooking beats off that. And then I, t I kept taking it to the studio and then finally, I, you know, jugged around, got my own laptop. And then that's when um, it happened to be the same studio I was, like, making beats at. Um, my boy uh, G Herbal was recording there. Mm. So that's how I got into with him. And then, really, we just been locked in ever since. We've just been tight. I met a lot of people through him and then just kind of networked as far as, like, that. But yeah. I just kind of came out to L.A., like, not probably, like, two years ago, I think it was. And just kind of network and just, you know, it's just how it went down. That's awesome. awesome. Now, you, yeah. now, how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 22 right now. 22. So you started when you was 19, right? Yeah, yeah. I started when I was like, when I made, I made beats when I was like at least like, I would say like 18 and I took it serious when I was like 19. Word, word. Do yeah. you remember the first beat you made? Uh, I, I don't know about the first. But I, I do remember like the couple like first couple ones I made and they were like not that good. <laughs> when did you <laughs> when did you feel like you had you got it? Like when did you feel like oh yeah I know what I'm doing? Like, um I think it. I think when I felt like that was when I probably I had I had grabbed a bunch of drum kits and there were like some fire drum kits. I can't remember who gave it to me though. Off the top of my head, but someone had gave me a bunch of fire drum kits and then like it really kinda elevated my sound a little bit. So then when I, I started working, I think like my very first placement was with this artist named Rico Reckless from Chicago. And um, a lot of people were rocking with it. So that's when I was like, okay, you know, like this is pretty decent. And then that's when right after that, I got a, a, a record with uh, Herb. And then um, after that, I was like, yeah, okay, we can, you know, I could do something. Yeah, you can do something. No, that's yeah. awesome, dude. How, so, so I know you said that you guys, you, you kind of met him at the, at the studio and stuff, but like, how, right. how long has your working relationship been going on now? 
Um, like with years? him, like yeah, yeah, yeah really. I mean, really, like since I kind of like since I started, and then like you know up until now, like it, we just been working back. For, I recently just dropped a single with me and him, um, probably like last month. It's called yeah. yeah. I put it on my SoundCloud. I think it's on YouTube now too. So you know, we just been you know chilling, working. We we get we got a lot of more stuff down the pipeline and stuff. So he's actually he's he's actually pretty popular around. Uh, Pittsburgh, G. Herbo. Pittsburgh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, yeah. He's, he's he's actually really popular up here, bro. Like, I got a couple of like my close homies that literally like that, that they live and stay listening. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's fire. No, no, yeah, that's my boy. That's like that's who I really like started with. So, that's so the, like big artists I started with. So, and then you said you know getting out to LA and doing a lot of networking and stuff. Like, I saw you were in studio with uh like Trippy Red. Um, yeah. Like. I, I think I saw you had a couple of pictures with like future and shit. Like, have you mm -hmm. worked with those artists as well? Yeah. I got a lot of stuff. It just like the stuff never released. I just got a lot of stuff in the pipeline that probably going to end up releasing, or I don't know who knows. They might not even see the day. Right. But um, yeah, I just, we really, I just been working and just like, just stacking up and all my like hits in the vault. Just, I just got them, you know, tucked. So that's, when the day comes, I can release them or whatever. But yeah, so I, uh, I know. I know for you, it had to be. Uh, it had to be kind of like a, a big moment when when Big Stepper did what it did because, like you said, a lot of the joints that you got with some of the bigger artists are in a tuck, like they ain't put them out yet. Um, can you right. speak on how that made you feel for that record to do what it does? Man, that was that was low key wild. I mean, I remember. Um, I think what it was is I was like I was just sending a bunch of beats out. And I sent like I, I when I came out here I networked a lot so I was always at like events parties concerts like all that shit I was always everywhere so I met a lot of like managers and close homies and like all that so I, I had all my connections there and I would always like send packs to just everyone like here 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 and um, shout out Kifa that's Roddy's main manager I had sent he hit me and was like yeah send some beats I was like all right bet so I just sent him a bunch and then like one day I woke up. And he's like, yeah, Roddy's really, like, messing with this record. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, I didn't really think much of it. Because at that time, he wasn't really, like, popping like that. But it was still lit. Because, mm -hmm. like, I actually listened to him. And I was like, okay, this is kind of dope. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, they just kept telling me. They're like, yeah, bro, this, this it's, it's going to be a joint. It's going to be on the album, this and that. I was like, okay. And then, they, you know, it finally dropped on the album. And then the album went number one, platinum, single went gold, probably damn near platinum now. It should be. It should be it's now. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty, like, it was pretty crazy because was, that was, like, my first, like, big, like, single, like, record, platinum, mm -hmm. all that. So, that's, yeah, it, was, it was pretty That's rough. super dope. Yeah, now, do, super do awesome. You have any, do you have any more music with Roddy coming out? Yeah, we're well, actually working on, yeah, he's working on his album right now. So, I've been sending a bunch of packs out. So Word. we're going to see what's good with him. That's my boy. So now I know uh, COVID kind of slowed things down for everybody. But like we were saying before we got on air, um, uh, it hasn't slowed down for you. Um, you you stay busy. But like, how has that changed your work process? Because I know you love to be in the studio. Right. Um. I mean, it, it didn't really affect me too much because, I mean, most of the time I just be at home cooking anyways, like just making beats. So. I technically don't have to be in the studio to like catch a vibe or make a beat. I can do it anywhere. I just, all I need is my laptop and some headphones and I'll make it happen. Right. So really like, it, it wasn't really too much of an impact, but I think like the main impact was like not having concerts and events and stuff. Cause like, that's where like the main part of the networking and all that stuff. Like that's how I gained a lot of connects was through like stuff like that. So, I mean, on that side, it kind of took a hit, but you know, we still, we're still staying busy with, you know, keeping it moving. And then things are starting to slowly come back. A lot more people are starting to do like more studio sessions and all that stuff. So just been moving and grooving. You're you're definitely a lucky one, man, for for being able to work through all this crazy craziness and this pandemic and shit, man. So kudos yeah, to yeah. you. Yeah, definitely keep, blessed, keep, man. Keep, keep 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 fucking doing it, dude. The big stepper is fucking huge, bro. Oh, I yeah, mean, yeah. I, I play Love that jam. Fucking, I play that shit all the time, all the time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, appreciate that, man. It, I, it, it's so funny because, like, Motor was talking about getting you on, and I'm like, yo, like, that's kind of wild because, like, that's one of the – like, one of the more popular songs I would say that me as a DJ that uh -huh. is, like, underrated as far as, like, me playing it. Like, a lot of people know the song, and it's like 
that song was like like it wasn't you know it's not like the star on the on the album when yeah like the yeah yeah yeah, you know what i mean but like but that song still hit bro and you still hit gold like we said it's gonna hit platinum like that's yeah yeah you know that's just behind so like even when they gave you the gold it was already behind you know yeah yeah no see it's crazy though like that was like one of roddy's like probably favorite records one of his favorite records off the album and he um what do you tell me? I think it was like one of the oldest ones he had too. Like they held on to that one for the longest mm. throughout the whole like process of making the album. So it was a it was a pretty it was a pretty dope record. Like it was something that like I kind of made him like step out of his box a little bit for it too, because he never really did nothing with that type of like bounce to it. Mm. So it was kind of like a new like little like sound for him. But it I was just dope. like that. And that's that soft yeah. intro was super dope, bro. Like the, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. And then how, and how the how it just built like. Everything just meshed so yeah. fucking perfectly. It's dope. So you and never- it's crazy too, cause um he told me, he told me too like when I was at his birthday party he was like it never happened but he did tell me he was like yeah future was trying to hop on the remix so they were like <laughs> trying to get they were trying to get all that set up I was like oh that would've been dope but yeah I guess it never yeah, yeah. It never, it never came to fruition yeah so you yeah. have have you ever been in a studio with future yet yeah I've been no I've been in there yeah okay. Yeah, that those pictures, uh, the ones that you seen on my gram, that was outside the studio. So, oh, okay. word, 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 word. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, well, when I said that, I meant like, did y'all get to like, you know, work on anything together? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I dropped. I had that day. I dropped off like a couple beats to him, and then also to his uh his brother Casino also. Oh, I'm word, not sure yeah. if you're familiar with Casino. No, I know. I'm, I'm yeah, familiar. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're familiar with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, so I, I dropped off like a bunch of packs to them and then was just kind of kicking it with them. I also, um, I'm really tight with, um, I was really tight with his, uh, one of his close homies, Zona Man. I just did some like, probably like a year ago. I think it's it's on SoundCloud. It's with Zona Man and Young Thug. I produced a song uh, with them and he's a part of FBB wild. too. So, wow. yeah, so they kind of like all know each other and shit. It's pretty dope. So what's what's next for you? Like, are you are you looking for like other producers to work with? You know, um, maybe a production team that you're trying to start, or you know, are you yeah. working with any artists uh, that you can talk about? Yeah, I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Um, really, uh, I'm really tight with Leroy right now. I know Leroy is popping up, popping up. I know you you guys are familiar with Kid Kid Leroy, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, so I got a lot of stuff with him. I got a really cold record with him. Um, I got a, I just got a joint with Party Next Door, too, like the other day. So that's going to be pretty dope. Wow. And then uh, I'm really going to be tapping Jeez. into um the, the like, the Latin side, too, with all the Latin artists. Word, like the word. Song and all that shit. So it's it's really going to be a movie, like, just, you know, just stay that's tuned, dope. really. You play on you, you play on staying out staying staying out there stay out of LA just continue yeah continue for the most there. part yeah for the most part I'll probably be out here but um I do want to move around like go to Miami I know that's where a lot of Latin artists are right now and mm-hmm. they've been telling me like yeah you got to come out to Miami and lock in with us out here just and that so I'll probably be out there or maybe go to Atlanta too you know just move yeah. around try to move around. try to network get some more um records and more work you know. How how was it uh, being in Houston? Like, how long did did you actually stay in Houston? Oh, I lived in Houston for like a year. Word. I think I was, I don't remember how old I was. I was probably like 15, 16 or 17. I only lived out there for like a year. So a year and I ended up yeah. going back to Chicago. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, it was lit though. I actually like Houston a lot. I, I do yeah, want to go back lit. there. I feel yeah, I feel so it was lit. Um, shoot, yeah, I had a question about, uh, do you still smoke? Yeah, I do, like, not really, like, a lot no more, but I, I do, yeah. Not, not like you used to. Yeah, um, I used to be, like, going crazy with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was blowing, man, I'm telling you, I was blowing down. <laughs> um, I was just gonna say, like, if, if you could name, like, your favorite strain, um, what would it be? And then also, if you were making, like, a weed anthem, who would you want on it? I would say favorite strain. That's really hard because it's man. That's I, I know too much. I would say like up there would probably be like like London pound cake or uh, what's another one? I like Runts a lot too. You know the the regular rapper weeds, yeah, all that that's... in that same little category. But 
Um, and then as far as like an anthem, I'll probably say like Wiz, to be honest. Or like Snoop, one. like some legendary, you know, like some real like smoker shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit would be cold. That'd be dope. You you yeah. you and you nice. and Doc, you and Dr. J produce a beat and then Snoop raps on it. That that would be cool. Right, that'd be cold. Like that'd be some <laughs> real like legendary. So, nice. Yeah, that that'd be so. Um if you had a collab with another big producer, since we kind of alluded to it, um, like a Dr. Dre, would you rather um, have the duty of making the melody or doing the drums? I got to do the drums. See, what, the thing about me is, like, I'm big on the drums. Yeah. So. Hey, hey, bro, me too, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, see? That's, that's, that whole drum set. Yeah, like, that's, like, my area's, like, specialty. Like, I, I love doing the drums on all my beats. Like, the beats, I just, I'm a big drum person, so it's got to be, like, got to be fire. Got to have a fire percussion. That's what, that's fire. Uh, what would it take for a new artist to get a beat from you? Um, Really, uh, that's kind of hard because it's just, like, Usually, I like to just find, like, an artist, like, I like to just find them, like, just mm -hmm. organically, like, oh, this artist is hard, I've seen them here, I heard them from this person, this person, or I found them on the gram, like, I like doing that, but I mean, if it comes down to it, you know, just send, like, if they send their music, you know? Yeah. And then, um, hold on, someone's calling. Uh, they send their music. <laughs> yeah, man, so, they do that, you know, I'll check it out, listen to it, if it's fire, you know, I'll probably reach back to you and... So I have to set something up, you know? Word. Now, I got two more uh, before we get out of here. Um, can you name some of your biggest influences? And it could be uh, music, it could be just period in your life. The biggest influence, I would have to say, like, definitely Future. Because, like, he's, I think, like, besides, like, Chief Keith, like, when I was growing up, it was definitely, like, I was all listening to Future. So, like, that was a huge, like, influence in my music to this day. So definitely them. And then, you know, as far as just like, just everything, probably like my parents and stuff too. Cause you know, they, you know, you always, they're always there for you and, you know, supporting and all that stuff. So shout out to them. That's awesome. You know nice. what I'm saying? So. And then what, what would you say your top five dead or alive artists would be? Top five dead or alive artists. Uh, let me see. Number one, definitely Future. Number two, I would say definitely Roddy Rich. Number three, definitely Tupac. Four, Biggie. And then five, I would have to say. Let me see. Who else can I put in there that's, that I could really think? That's a hard one. It's that's like so many to pick from. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe like. Well, you. Like, you you listen like Nas or Jay Z, or would you put Chief Keef up there? Yeah, I probably would just because I'm like it's I'm the newer I'm part of the newer generation, so we don't really be like heavy on the old school. But I do like like Run DMC. Like I was big on like the old like break. I used to graffiti, so I, I used to listen oh, to all the old like the oh, old school dope. stuff. So I yeah. actually do like Run DMC, but I'd probably put them up there too because they're kind of like pioneers too of this this music stuff. Too. Nice. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's so wild. that's hard. That's hey, super man. dope. That's super dope. That's that's super dope. Yeah, I'm gonna just add a, I'm gonna just add a number six. I was okay. say Anuel. He's on the Latin side. Fire. So which yeah. would you say his name is? Anuel. Oh, Anuel. oh, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. I know who that is. Yo. I know who that is. Yo. You know who he is. Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. He's I haven't crazy. heard much of him yet, but you know, I'm after digging the crates. Right. Yeah, about. definitely check him out, man. I'll send you a few links or whatever, bro. You got it. He's crazy. Sure, that's who I'm, sure. I'm trying to get in contact with next so that's dope yeah, well, hopefully the next time we talk you know that'll be in the bag and already out yeah, exactly. that's, that's what I'm saying we own keep, keep making the power moves bro We're, you got you got the Berg Boys full support over here so we appreciate yeah, you taking the time yeah, I gotta, to talk to us yeah, bro appreciate it bro I gotta come uh, I gotta come out there too and come fuck with y'all man Hell yeah, hey, we would uh, we'll love bro. to have you in studio, brother. We'll we'll welcome you with open arms. You know what I'm saying? We get the chicken, everything. Yeah, we'll yeah, have the, we'll have the pound cake for you if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, what are you drinking? What are you drinking on? What's what's your favorite? You know, you drink beer, liquor. What, what do you Man, like? 
honestly, I don't drink at all. If I do, I'll probably drink like a little bit of like champagne or something. Like if I'm on like in the club Bubbly. or something. But I, honestly, I do not like drinking at all. Like, I'll okay. smoke, like I'll smoke and that's it. Like I'm cool. Like I don't need nothing else. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Well, now we know. Yeah. Now we know. We'll get some bubbly and then some pound cake, and we'll be we got yeah, a we'll session, bro. Let's do yeah. it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, man. All right, well, man. hey, best of luck, and uh, you take care, man. Thanks a lot for joining us. Yes, thanks yeah, a lot. Yeah, thanks, bro. All right, take care. All right, all right. We're 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 live. So um yeah, this is the Berg Boys, man. Shout out to our guest, uh, Little Mexico Beats. Um, Dope ass interview. Get to talk to little Mexico beats. Absolutely. Look at Flack. Cheers, brother. Cheers, hey. Flack. I don't have any other thing to drink, so I'm just gonna tip you with this. The bowl. You never got nothing to drink. I don't ever got nothing to drink. I'm drinking water. So I off rip. I, we gotta talk about this. water smoking a crack pipe. Oh shit. shit. <laughs> uh <laughs> First of all, we got to talk, you see, you see my little, uh, this is like my church ballot service right here. Like you can't come yeah. in here unless you, yeah. unless you about it's to like pray. Yeah, you either about to pray or you about to uh, hand me your ballot so you can vote. <laughs> uh, Mar uh, yeah. Yeah. Like marijuana. <laughs> oh, so that's <laughs> what we should talk about. Tom Wolf. Um, Governor Tom Wolf is moving to try to legalize, recreationalize. Mary Joanna. As as soon as uh, November, I think. Well, that'd be great for me because I don't live in the city limits. Neither do I. So uh, I'm, <laughs> exempt yeah. I'm exemplified by everything that goes on right now. It's decriminalized down there in the Pittsburgh city. But recreationalized? Do you think that's going to change anybody's views on it, though? No. I feel like nah. there's still gonna be like some snobby people like ah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick my nutsack on my drum like, set. He smells like a sack of crack pipes. <laughs> what he the fuck like is he skunk. smoking? He smells like a skunk. <laughs> Don't put a skunk. He smells like skunk pussy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, what is that smell? Woo wee wee. Woo wee. <laughs> it's skunk pussy. Oh my so goodness. so we have to talk about this. They robbed our guy, man. Giannis. AD did not get defensive player of the year. It went I to know. Giannis. It went to Giannis. That nigga AD. Well, you know why that went to Giannis, right? Because he's good at headbutting. So Dude, that's shit. defense, defensive player Ooh, of the year shit. right there. Ooh, shit. He's going to get he that the, MVP. He's the 2019 20 Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Wow, Giannis. Well, shout to Giannis, man. Facts. Fuck Giannis. That's uh, crazy. It, he got. Hey, I feel like AD got robbed, bro. Yeah. Well. Oh well. Sorry. AD was second, so he had Giannis had seventy-five first-place votes. AD only had fourteen. Second-place hmm. votes. AD had 30 to his 18. Third place votes, AD had 40 to his three. But total points, Giannis won 432 to AD's 200. Wow. So it was damn near a sweep. Yep. Wow. Hey, hey Mo, so what's now, this? Who do you think is going to get MVP? It has Giannis. to be Giannis. Yeah. It has to be Giannis. Yeah. Giannis, Giannis. That just means that Bron's gonna get the ring this year, then. Giannis or Harden? I don't think they're gonna give it to Harden. You don't think they're gonna give it to? He's gonna get the scoring title, but I don't think they're gonna give him MVP again. No hard to MVP this time. Yeah, no hard for uh, MVP. It's probably gonna be a back to back for Yanni. That's why. Yanni boy. But he's not going. He's not gonna win a chip this year, though. You don't, that, you don't, yeah. That nigga. It's bronze year. It's Kobe year. We'll so, see. So the Lakers is going to uh, will their ways right into the finals and right to this chip. Right I'm to putting, the chip. I'm putting, my, I'm putting my hands on it. Which is insane. Denver right now. 
What y'all saying? Y'all putting your, y'all putting your bread on the lake show, or y'all y'all still iffy? You already know. Don't ask me that. Smack yourself right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Y'all put y'all not putting your bread on it. You you not putting Smack your bread yourself. on the on the way of uh, lake show spills. Nah, I don't you watch don't. enough. Mm. You don't watch enough what ballerina Basket- basketball. I don't watch it enough. You don't watch enough ballet. Hold on, hold on. Let me take a sip. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me take a sip. Hey, yo, how about what's what's Wiz doing? Hot box by Wiz Khalifa. I saw he be like tag team with fucking uh, Postmates and fucking Uber. Mm-hmm. Uber Eats. That's Thanks. awesome, dude. Did you Super see cool. what the uh, what the foods are gonna be? Yeah, I no, saw the Taylor Gang turkey burger and a bunch of other shit. The motor made mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese for Yeah, they the had, motor had, man, they had some food. brisket, like some brisket bites. Those look fire. <coughs> they open? Not yet. Not yet. But or you can so. go I think if you go to the website, um they're asking you guys to sign up and say what city you're in, just so they can get well, it. Well, it's set definitely going to be city. here in Pittsburgh, but the full For sure. menu For sure. hasn't been released. They just they just noted the blaze ends, which is crispy burnt brisket ends, yep. smothered in smoky burn. sweet barbecue sauce. Sounds fire. They got the Taylor Gang turkey burger, which is a turkey burger topped with lettuce, tomato, onions, mayo, and a side of house made chips. They Chip should put hits. French fries on it. Chip hits potato chips, tossed in parmesan and lemon, mm-hmm. and uh, mac and yellow, which is the macaroni and cheese, topped with more cheese. And uh, they got one dessert, which is the mile high dark chocolate brownie. So, uh, yeah, you know what that's about. Hot box, hot box by Wiz Hot box Check will it. be in Pittsburgh, LA, San Diego, Chicago, Denver. Washington, D.C., Indianapolis, Houston, and New York City uh, with additional locations opening based on fan voting. So, See? Told if you, you. If you want that uh, hot box by Wiz in your city, you got to vote for it. Go go it's to the all, website. It's already here, so we don't got to vote for it. Not yeah, not us. us. We're telling everybody else. You gotta yeah. work. October oh, like, 1st, it launches with, with every uh, – Yeah, that's wild, bro. That's super super smart business move, power move. Boss moves. Fire moves. Fire yep. moves only. Shout out to the guys. Hey, man, I want to let everybody out there that's watching know um, y'all can uh, get these shirts that we got on right now. Um, the Bird Boys, Big Logo Tees at pitfits.com. And uh, get you a Bird Boys tee, man. Facts, man. Go get it. With butt crest on it. Ooh, mm-hmm. shit. I wiped some extra booty crust on it for you. Booty crust, booty crust. We also got the Bird Girls ones, too. The Bird Girls tees are out. It's just Bird pink, and it ladies. says girls with a Z for the, the ladies. That's, you for should get me ladies. one. I'll, I'll, I'll wear it. I'll wrap it. <laughs> the bird I got you. I got you. You're going to put his pink, you're gonna put his pink on for uh, breast, can- breast cancer awareness. Oh, my gosh. For dick cancer awareness. Dick cancer. You're funny as hell, Flack. Well, before we get out of here, guys, um, Flack, what's the flavor of the day, my G? Flavor of the day is, oh, shit, what is this? Flavor of the day was the Kush Mints. Yeah. Kush Mints? Did you say? The the Kush Mints. What's what's the taste like, Flack? (laughs) It's very earthy. It, it has aromas of like the, the ice cream cake strand. <laughs> ice cream cake. Okay. So what's the what's the high like? Is it in the couch? Oh, it's definitely a couch lock, baby. We're getting turbulence <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> that, too, that much, way. too much smoke. <laughs> too much that, smoke. That, that the bathroom. Hey, well, uh, <laughs> catch, catch you later, guys. I'll see from you my, from my tower down there to you guys. See, ya. <laughs> see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Berg Boys Tuesday night chill spot. We'll see you next week. Later, guys. <laughs> Bye, host. <laughs>